Hi, I'm Tom Hughes. Thanks for watching Red Wings Channel 6. Well, Lynn Nardinger, the Deputy Director of Public Works with us today. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Tom. How are you? It is not summer anymore, so let's talk about the possibility of freezing water lines. Yeah, it's, um, you know, we're approaching that season again, so um, hopefully we won't have a winter like last winter. But What can we do to avoid that situation? And, and I know it only happens once every, what? quarter century yeah it's been a while since we I mean last year was but I mean before that it's been probably 25 years since we've had that extreme um, frost depths um, what you can do you know as as the temperatures drop and we get into them long cold spells um, and we'll try and notify people you'll you'll hear reports or um, that the frost is getting that deep again you know, and if we get to those situations, you'll you'll want to monitor the temperature on your water faucet. You know, run your water if it's starting to get to 40 degrees or below. Can we turn our faucet on and let that run? Will that help? Yes, that'll help. If you run a pencil stream width out of your faucet, that's enough to keep your service from freezing. And should I do it on all my faucets or just one? No, you just need to do one faucet. Um, like I said, it, it doesn't need to be any more than a pencil stream. And that's enough. You, you will be billed for that extra water usage, um, but it's better than the alternative of hiring somebody to thaw out your, your line. Your, and a pencil, is that a sharp number two pencil? <laughs> that, that would be a sharp number two. <laughs> you know, the, the homeowner is responsible for the for their water service out to the city water main. Um, and that's typically where it freezes, you know, out near the street um, where the snow is removed or if it runs through your driveway. You know, anywhere there's no snow cover, that's usually where the frost gets driven down to those depths where the water mains are. So allegedly, if we leave our water running like this, it'll have enough water coming from outside through our pipes to keep it from freezing. That's correct, yes. That's the whole idea. That's the whole idea. Cool. Yeah. And, and if anybody has any questions about what to call, it's called the Frozen Water Service Policy. They can go to the City of Red Wing website, right? Yes, that's available on the website. After reading that, if you still have questions, you can call out the Public Works Department and ask for myself, and I'll, I'll be glad to answer any questions you have. What's the best time to call, like 4 in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> Some days I'm there that early. I bet you are. Yeah. yeah, I bet you there are days. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot, Lynn. Yeah, thank you, good Tom. To see you. Lynn Nardinger is the Deputy uh, Director of Public Works for the City of Red Wing, and I'm Tom Hughes. Thanks for watching Red Wings Channel 6.